A group of art students have placed Edison High School and San Antonio on the national map for reasons besides the Alamo or Spurs. They did it by beating out 1,000 other schools to make it to the top five in the Vans Custom Culture Contest and winning $15,000 for their art program. I talked to the students whose creativity captured their city on a pair of shoes and this week's Made in SA. Their canvas, a pair of plain white bands. The challenge for 10 art students at Edison High School. Hometown pride, show where we're at, you know, represent, be proud of our roots and who we are. Translating that onto kicks while in the thick of pandemic and winter storm did not come easy. And we had a lot of students that were working virtually, but also on campus. And we were trying to figure out ways to engage them, to, you know, just get them to come to class. And this was just the perfect project. Creating five teams to tackle the project using paint, stitch work, paper, and even clay to design their sneakers. They wanted to highlight our fiesta celebrations, our happy times, our bright times when we come together and we overcome things together. And they brought that out with their colors, with their designs and with their positive attitude with all of their designs that they made. And I think that really captured our community, our familia, como nos juntamos, como comemos pan juntos y como celebramos. Standing out amongst the rest with their puro San Antonio and Concha Bakery on wheels themes. What's well, like everyone's favorite thing to eat in the morning? <laughs> have some sweet bread with some milk, coffee, whatever you guys like to drink. I mean, that's something to me, I've always grown up with that. I see that as, you know, my culture, my childhood that I grew up with. The contest bringing these students together during a time when everything worked to keep them apart. It's really exciting because it was our first year and I think we did it. We went a long way. I'm just glad I got to do this my final year. You know, I'm leaving something behind, knowing that I was a part of something this big, and it's going back into something I love, which is art. Walking a path of development and discovery together to learn they are the designers of their future. And it's all, you know, by these students that were able to come together in the worst, most difficult, challenging times, and they were still able to do it. So knowing that they could do it, anybody can do it. And, and that's really, really inspirational. And we're really proud of, of the work that they did. These 10 students, some of them graduating seniors, leaving their legacy behind in the form of a $15,000 prize that'll give back for years to come. I'm very grateful for these past four years and being a part of this program, it's shown me a lot. I've grown a lot with this, especially with my amazing art teachers. This program helped me, you know, express myself creatively and, you know, gave me an outlet. And it gives a lot of us outlets because sometimes we don't have the best situations at home or we're just going through things. And what better way to express yourself than through art? Well, Edison's art program has been pushing the district to build them new art studios. And while that's been in the works for a while now, the $15,000 prize will help to furnish those new studios. So really exciting for those kids. You know, and that was really smart to do that program because decorating, painting your own vans now is a huge oh, really? thing. Oh, my son is telling me about it constantly. Oh, wow. So vans just, I guess, Put it to the test with all these high school kids. Well, I'll tell you what, they did great. They, they did. These kids should be proud of themselves. That's awesome. Absolutely. $15,000. Wow. Amazing.